Hi, I'm Atul from Fashion Babylon. We're here outside XL London with the Britain's Next Top Model Live exhibition. We're here to talk to models, designers, photographers, anyone involved in the fashion industry to talk about what they're going to get out of Britain's Next Top Model Live. So Michael from Fashion Babylon, you're the owner of Fashion Babylon, you created Fashion Babylon, it's your concept, your baby, tell me a bit about Fashion Babylon, what is it? It's basically a community to make fashion more accessible to people. So the idea is that um, people, everybody is involved in the fashion industry by buying fashion, but they're, they're doing that at all, not just to buy fashion, but to be part of, or they, they have this um, desire to learn more about it, to take part in fashion shows, to do modelling, to develop their modelling portfolios, and there's a lot of mystique. I mean, the industry kind of protects itself with a kind of a layer of mystique. And we're trying to just break that down and just involve people. The mask is part of a campaign that Tia Maria are also running called Get Behind the Mask and they're looking for the new face of Tia Maria so they want to pick somebody kind of bubbly and fun and sexy that kind of represents the brand. So that's why we're all wearing the masks to show they get behind the mask theme. Are you saying it's like a casting process? Yeah, pretty right. much, pretty much, yeah. That's what we're looking for today is, you know, there's plenty of talent out there. Yeah. Um, and everyone's looking to be spotted, you see from the, the public catwalk, the, the amount of interest that's on there. So, uh, you know, we're just out there scouting and, uh, and seeing who's, who's available. And the interest we've had has been phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, really, really positive. Uh, so you're looking for the new face of Tim Maria then? Yeah. So, uh, check out the Fashion Babylon stand and they yeah. can take a photo of you and then... Uh, oh yeah, I've done that. Oh, yeah. you've done it already? Excellent. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, thank you. Thank you. We, we love, love Fashion, fashion Babylon. Babylon. So there's various aspects of Fashion Babylon and there's obviously the opportunities for exploring models but also exploring designers. Can you tell me a bit about your um, ideas about helping people at the start of their careers? Um, we've got involved with a lot of fashion graduates um, and it's tremendously fulfilling. Um, a lot of these people have spent three years at university, they've um, uh, created uh, tremendous pieces of fashion, they come out of university and they just don't have the funding to take that further. So at Fashion Babylon, we're really trying to help those people. Um, we started by an online auction. Um, it's an opportunity to buy one-off pieces from people's graduate collections. Um, and uh, you, you know, imagine if you had a piece by Alexander McQueen or Sir McCartney and their graduate collections. Imagine kind of the thrill of sort of um, watching their careers develop from when they're unknown to you know their first shop or different breaks and stuff like that. Um, and then, of course, there's the chance that it might appreciate in value. Um, and apart from anything, they are just wicked, 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 brilliant designs. Um, so I'm, I'm tremendously proud. Here we are at Britain's Next Top Model Live, and the main show is about to start right here on this stage.
Babylon. My name's Georgia and I love Fashion Babylon. I love Fashion Babylon. I love design clothes, do hair styling, and actually be styling for videos, magazines, everything. So. Well, every person that is involved in my team, I've basically done a casting. They're all, you know, up and coming models, up and coming hairstylists, makeup artists. So I always use people that, uh, you know, that are starting out. Because I think it gives them a chance then to show off, like, you know, some people wouldn't have got a chance to come and model at Britain's Next Top Model Live. But I've given girls the chance, you know, I look at personalities and also the overall look and they've all come down here, they've been brilliant, the team's great. But, you know, I think more, if we could get more support, you know, as designers and stuff, we love like Fashion, Fashion Babylon. Babylon. We love Fashion Babylon. Hi, my name is Nicole and I love Fashion Babylon. We love Fashion Babylon. Well, I've done modelling in the past, so it's basically about looking up hips. Okay. So it's not so much styling, but more to do with the catwalk. Yeah. Catwalk. Learning how to do it properly would be a good idea. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll check out the Fashion Babylon stand because they're giving some tips and advice and opportunities for uh, people who want to get uh, their careers going in modelling. So um, thank you. check out the uh, Fashion Babylon stand. I will do. Excellent, thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. Fashion Babylon. And have you had any new insights for your article? Um, yeah, I've had, well, the results have been what I thought they'd be. So I've been showing them pictures of like size zero, also plus size models, and they've all been not liking the skinny girls and the yeah. heavy girls. So yeah. I've had a lot of, a lot of women saying how they like to see a change and like to see more plus size models on the catwalk. about modelling that um, appeals to you? Are they particularly role models that you've got within the um, fashion industry? Um, I love fashion and the whole, the whole thing. I love every time I come to a catwalk, I just get goosebumps. I just want it to be me up there and I just love the whole industry. We have met a lot of really talented people. Um, we have a process whereby uh, you know, we sort of get, take them through um, uh, a, a process to see how, how good they are and what their potential is. And at the moment we, we just don't know what the outcome of that process is. But certainly a lot of very talented people and you know, you're, I'm sure you'll see them in you know, on the Fashion Babylon website and in our events. Hi, my name is Olga and I love Fashion Babylon.
space, fashionbabylon.com.